My name is Denise Trouth, and I'm the president of Texas State University. Well, it means a lot, but it kind of falls into two categories. Initially, the change, I believe, is how Texas State University is perceived. Uh, being grouped with the other emerging research universities puts us among a set that we frankly have been a lot like for a long time as we track the metrics. But being formally designated as part of that group, I believe, fundamentally repositions the university in the eyes of many of our publics, including a lot of our alums. Now, on the financial side, we get in a queue um, to receive more funding, but there's a lot of hard work that has to happen before those dollars will come here. They don't come automatically. Starting right now, uh, we are working on um, acquiring new gifts to the university, uh, but that's a steep hill. Uh, we need to get additional development officers in place. We need to be working on a strategic plan with our faculty to identify what kinds of research and graduate education funding we need to bring to the university. But that's the pool of money that we are targeted right now. I think we were miscategorized from the beginning. But on the other hand, if you looked at the group of emerging research universities uh, at that time, we did not have the doctoral graduates, nor did we have the research expenditures that those other schools had. Now, we had a higher quality undergraduate uh, population. We had a higher graduation rate, a higher retention rate than many of those schools. We were bigger than many of those schools. So it really comes down to which metrics were they looking at. And the metrics came after the fact. So schools were grouped, then we were told what the metrics were. But once those metrics were identified, Texas State set about performing such that we would qualify for this reclassification. Well, you know, I should say that this is not an artificial change. It's a very organic kind of change at the university. In other words, we've been in this process for a long time. This is not, it's not as if we're going to embark on a whole new direction because we were reclassified. We were reclassified because we had embarked on a new direction. And to quote Winston Churchill, you know, this isn't the end, it's not even the beginning of the end, but it's the end of the beginning. That's how I like to think about this. I will tell you, based on my experience, it's a false dichotomy. You can't have a great undergraduate program if your faculty isn't doing research. That, that's the definition of faculty at a university, is that they're engaged in research. Because what that means is they're on the cutting edge. What that means is they walk into the classroom today, having yesterday read the most up-to-date research in the field that they're teaching. You know, my background is law and policy and broadcast media. And in order to do the research I did, I had to stay up-to-date. But I taught in that field. I taught regulation. And my teaching was the better for having published an article on some aspect of regulation. So I've always thought it was a false dichotomy. I don't know how you separate the two. Austin is projected to become one of the biggest cities in this country. If you look at the big, great cities in this country, they all have at least two universities. Maybe one's public, one's private but they have two universities. I see Texas State becoming the other big research university in the Austin area. Doesn't mean we only serve Austin, 
but it does mean that we serve Texas and we have a compatibility with what UT Austin is doing. Um, Texas needs more big, great universities. It's a long path. It's an uh, ambitious path, but that's the path we're going to, is, is becoming a great research university. Is it going to happen in 10 years? No. Will we have access to those dollars in the next 10 years? I can't tell you, but I mean, it would be a big stretch for us to get that far in 10 years. But are we going to push, push, push? Absolutely. Thank <laughs> you.